So the product moment correlation coefficient R is equal to SXY over the square root of SXX SYY. Now we derived the formula for that, which was the sum from i is 1 to n of x take away x bar uh, times y take away y bar. I should put i's there as well. Divided by the square root of the sum from i is 1 to n of x i take away x bar squared times by the sum from i is 1 to n of y i take away y bar squared. And then we've got the square root going over the whole thing. OK, so that is the formula that we derived previously. Now, in the last two videos, uh, I've then gone on to be able to write this in summary statistic form. So this form uh, is not given in the OCR-MEI formula booklet uh, because it's just cumbersome to use. Um, so instead, you've got the, um, the alternative form with summary statistics, which looks like this. So it's the sum from i is 1 to n of x i y i take away the sum from i is 1 to n of x i times the sum from i is 1 to n of y i over n. OK, so that's SXY. And then you've got the square root of, uh, you've got um, the sum, so in a bracket, from I is 1 to N, of X squared, take away the sum from I is 1 to N of X, all squared over N, times by the sum from i is 1 to n of y squared. Well, they should have i's next to them, shouldn't they? And that one as well. OK, apologies. Um, take away the sum from i is 1 to n of y i, all squared over n. OK, like that. Oh, close the bracket. So, it does not look a particularly nice formula, okay? Um, it doesn't look nice at all. Um, however, it's given to you in the formula booklet, so you don't need to memorise it. It is just substitution in. Now, how a question will be formed from this will be, uh, you will be given the summary statistics. So, you will be given sum of x sum of y, sum of x squared, sum of y squared, the sum of x, y, and n. So you'll be given that. That's your summary statistics. OK? And then we're going to need to substitute them into the formula. Now, my recommendation is that you would not substitute them directly into this. Uh, I would work out each of these separately. and then substitute them in there, OK? That means that there's less chance of error, because if you try and do that all in one go on your calculator, uh, it's likely that you're going to go wrong. So I'm going to go through in a couple of examples of doing that in the next couple of videos.